Today, we're talking about nature. Before we go any further, we need to talk about sweets. Here are two big bowls of sweets. The green ones are lovely pure water and all the other coloured ones are things that we don't really want in there. One bowl with one person working to separate the good green sweets from the rest of the bowl. And another bowl with a team of people working together to do the exact same job. Welsh Water we work with nature, collecting, managing and treating water is a perfect example of this. They've got a bit of a challenge on their hands. We all know how much it rains here in Wales. When rain falls, it goes on a pretty big journey before it even reaches our reservoirs, which is why Welsh Water needs to work with landowners to make sure the water that goes into our reservoirs, rivers and streams is of the best quality it can possibly be. Along its journey, it can sometimes bump into things that affect its purity. Grazing animals, trees being cut, chemicals that help food grow, all of which mean that water that flows into our reservoirs isn't as pure as it could be. We're in the valley of the catchment of uh, Cantref Reservoir. We've worked with Welsh Water um, to plant trees on the embankments to stop uh, erosion of the soil into the river, causing silty water. And, uh, Which then filters course. down the stream into the res. Into the res, yeah. From the reservoir or river, the water needs to be treated. So the less pure the water in those reservoirs and rivers is, the more chemicals and energy are needed to treat the water in order to get it perfect to drink. We're at the bottom of the reservoir, Treatment Works behind us and also behind me is Sarah who works in the Treatment Works. So tell me a bit about the work that gets done in somewhere like this. Well, the raw water will come into the Treatment Works. We add uh, a coagulant which is either iron based or aluminium based. Give it a bit of a stir, yeah. add a bit of air to it, take all the dirt off the top, put it through a couple of filters, add a bit of chlorine to it, make sure it's disinfected, there's nothing left in there and uh, it comes out customer's task. Down in the treatment works, the end of pipe solution is really expensive. Yeah. Up there, you can spend a fraction of the money and benefit an awful lot more people up here. And then you're also benefiting all the upland biodiversity and wildlife, the breeding birds, the insects, okay. the mammals and so on. And you're also making the land sweeter for grazing as well. So the upland farmers and so on, they're going to get more benefits from it, from it as well because the grasses will be sweeter, the landscape will hold itself together. And, you know, it's just everything will work an awful lot better up there. So Welsh Water, with their partners, are trying to ensure that the water is as clean as it possibly can be before reaching the reservoirs. So an increase in pollution in the water could also mean an increase in your water bill every year. And that is why this work is so important. So that is it. That is how important it is for Welsh Water with their partners to be working with nature on a daily basis. It really does affect our day-to-day -day lives. If this is something that you want Welsh Water to focus even more on over the coming decades, let them know by clicking on the link in the description of this video and take part in their consultation.